the Daylight Single Motor Low Voltage Control System, or LVC for short, controls all Daylight Single Motor Electric screens with separate up, down, or stop commands. The LVC package includes the control module and a three-button wall switch with cover plate. The Daylight LVC allows the use of multiple wall switches with a single electric screen and is required for wireless radio frequency for infrared remotes. The LVC housing is divided into three compartments. The compartment labeled Low Voltage Connections is where you will connect the wall switch or a central control panel. The compartment labeled AC Power Connections is where the main power and motor wire connections are made. The center compartment only requires access when connecting an infrared or radio frequency remote receiver. When connecting the supplied low voltage wall switch, use the three conductor 20 to 24 gauge wire to extend the switch to the required length. Connect the wire from the switch to the wire labeled wall switch. Never apply voltage to the wall switch lead or the LVC will be damaged. A third-party control panel may be connected to the LVC by using the wall switch wire lead. The control panel must provide a momentary dry contact closure of at least half a second. Use three conductor 20 to 24 gauge wire to connect the control panel to the wall switch lead. A momentary closure across the white and red wires will be an up command. A momentary closure across the white and black wires will be a down command. A momentary closure across the white, red, and black wires will be a stop command. Connect the motor wires in the screen junction box to the LVC wires labeled motor wires. Use 14 to 18 gauge wire to extend the motor wire to the required length. Connect the power wires to the LVC wires labeled AC power input. Connect the building ground wire to the ground lug on the metal housing. If you have purchased a radio frequency or infrared wireless remote or the video projector interface module, remove the cover plate labeled Low Voltage Connections and the center cover plate. Route the receiver wire through the round plastic bushing and plug it in the onboard socket marked I.